Hello, my name is Lena, and welcome back to my channel. And welcome to the announcement of the Cat Lady Readathon Round 5. I have a cat behind me. I have my cat ears on that you can't really see that well. I have my cat jumper on. So I'm ready to talk about Cat Lady Readathon. I can't believe it's already round 5, but it's here. So the most important thing is when is the readathon happening? This time it's going to be a month long round and it is happening in February from the 1st till the 29th. As always, the readathon is dedicated to reading cat books and that means that there is cat on the cover, in the title or as a character. Cat can be or pets like this little cute cat or mythical creatures that have cat-like features or the big cats tigers lions cheetahs or whatever big cats this time i have two bingo boards that you can use if you want one is reading related the other one is activity related just to make this more interesting and fun so you can use both you can choose one whatever works for you. So let's talk about the reading bingo board. As this time the readathon is months long, I'm not making people read only cat books. Though that is the aim, that is the aim of the readathon and that is what I'll be doing. But on the bingo board you can see three squares that actually mention cats, like the main three prompts that we have every time. Cat in the title, cat on the cover and cat as a character. Only for those three prompts you have to read cat books. If you want you can read for all of them but to make it easier if you just want to take part in this readathon know that you don't have to read cat books for other reading related prompts. You can use whatever book you want. As I said I will read only cat books in February. That is my aim for the month but I'm not making everyone do the same thing no. because I want this to be fun and not a too challenging of a thing. And when it comes to activity related bingo board, there are some activities you can do during the month and cross them off just to like do something extra. But in general, you don't have to use the bingo boards if you don't want to. You just read cat books. And even if you read only one cat book during the month, you still count as a participant if you want to. It's up to you. I would really appreciate if you join the readathon and make it fun for yourself in whatever way you can do that. I think those are the important things, like the bingo boards when it's happening, what you have and don't have to read or do. What else? I'm thinking about reading sprints. I haven't done them in a really long time, but I don't know how the month will go, so you can look out for some reading sprints, maybe once a week, but I'm not promising anything. There will be definitely some reading sprints, but I will have to see how I can manage my free time to fit those in somewhere during the month. So I think this is it. It feels like really, really, really short, but I will share my TBR closer to the beginning of the readathon and then I'll share some books, some things that I plan and hope to do during that. Like more things that I have already mentioned here, hopefully we'll actually see. But yeah, I think that is it. Please let me know if you will be joining this readathon and if yes, do you already have some books in mind that you want to read? You can recommend some cat books in the comments for everyone. There will be the link to the Cat Lady Readathon playlist where you can find other announcement videos and reading vlogs where you can find some inspiration, some recommendations, some books that I mentioned that are perfect for Cat Lady Readathon. So that's gonna be it for this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you joined the readathon. So yep, bye!